Hello everybody, it's Dragon Age time again, my favorite game series ever and I am in the vault of the ML estate and I am about to find the will of our grandparents hopefully right here in this chest let's do that Slaver invoice <laughs> Grandfather Amel's will Ferelden Judith Girded planting hmm, increases armor cover. Yes, I can't really give armor to my companions. That's so bad. And what will it that do? So this is it. Grandfather's will. Glow him. <laughs> Let's just take it back to mother and be done with it. Oh, okay. We are going directly back. Yes, I don't let's think go. there's any point in delaying the news. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. Oh, really? It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, maybe just... <laughs> Put something towards food. You should be paying us, Uncle. We found the will. Grandfather left everything to Mother and us. I guess he had some sense after all. See for yourself. <laughs> but really, he left nothing to government. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her, the estate in High Town and all associated revenues. Wow, okay. Keep breathing, what's next? Okay, keep Check breathing. Out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend to be controlled by you. Hmm, they don't trust him, that's why. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. Uh, it is! Oh my god. You yes. didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? Hmm. You owe us? I don't know. If, even if I tell him that, it will just backfire. Did you wait even I doubt minute, you let really? the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Can we really get back to the estate? Really? Okay, I'm going to try to talk to people around so, here. So, what? Oh. Are you here to gloat? Gamlin's Maybe. Gamlin's the idiot again. Gamlin's the fool who can't hold his money when it's given in a bloody silver basket. I tried, you know, when Leandra left. But no one was ever going to live up to her. I... I'm kind of worried here because Carver also sounds like him a little bit. I hope that he doesn't become Gamlin. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, tell me about What was mother. she like? As a girl? We're only a year apart. But that was time enough for Leandra to get our parents wrapped firmly around her little finger. They showed her off at every opportunity. You're just jealous. The beauty, the scholar, the light of their lives. As far as they were concerned, they should have stopped there. So how did you lose all that money? I've seen the nobles in this town. Your parents must have had a fortune. Where did it all go? Well, it's not like I stood at the side of the wharf and hurled it over. I tried to invest it. I got some good How? tips on trade in Kunari cheeses. And, what? you know, a man's got needs. 
I'm not denying I spent more on myself than I should have, but I figured it'd all work out. Sure, with Kunari cheese. <laughs> That's true, everyone makes mistakes, but he doesn't even seem to be sorry about his mistakes, so he didn't learn at all. Uh, okay. You figured it out, really. So, the best way to make Daddy love you was to steal his money. I changed Probably. their filthy sheets and wiped their chins through two bouts of the cholera, and the last word Father said was... Leandra. I'm not looking for love, but at least I got the money. Wow. So you, di you didn't really take care of them for life? They were just sick and they died? Wow. Your mother's busy writing to the Viscount. If you want more touching family stories, go to her. I will. When I told your grandmother I was marrying your father, she threatened to disown me. She said my children would be mongrels. My father wanted to lock me in, but she told him it's her life. Let her ruin it. I wrote to her when each of you were born. She never wrote back. I'm glad she didn't die hating me. Can we move to the estates? The estate is yours. Why are we still here? Technically, the house is now property of the Viscount, since its owner mm -hmm. died without an heir. If we went there now, we would just be squatters. But if the Viscount acknowledges our rights, we can get back more than the house. We can get back our name. Hmm. Grandmother's not worth this. No, that's not a good joke. Your mom was a bitch. Oh my god. No, I don't think she hated you. They just somehow wanted to help her in their way and... Yeah, okay. Your mother never hated Grandmother you. Grandmother didn't I think. want you to leave. She tried holding on to you the only way she knew. She would have been so proud of you. You're everything she wanted in an Amel grandchild. She might have had a hard time accepting it at first, but she would have loved you, all three of you. Oh, Bethany. She was such a sweet little girl. Never cried, just looked at you with those big eyes. I miss her too, okay? She was so young to be taken from us. I just keep thinking there's something we could have done. It's killing me. I, I remember that awful creature reaching down and... 18 years of loving and feeding and raising and... That was it. Okay, I know that this is not a really good thing to say right now, but... When she blamed me directly for letting her die like that, I was really annoyed about it. So I actually want to say something about it right now because it's not it wasn't my fault and yeah, At least you're not blaming it's me. It's all your fault thing. Exactly. I'm sorry, love. I was distraught. I mm. never really believed that. It's just I I miss her. There were four of us when the blight began. It will never mm -hmm. be over while there are just three. I've written to the Viscount. I've an audience for after Bartran's expedition leaves. I couldn't do anything for Bethany. But with luck, I can at least give us a home. Let's hope so. So after the expedition then. Okay. I've had word from Lothering. They are rebuilding. I don't know if I could ever return to the site of such horrors. Hmm. Is this dwarven venture truly the only way? I hate to think of you going willingly into the Darkspawn's grasp. I think it seems to be the only, the only yes. way. truly the only Yes. I hate to think of you going willingly into the dark spots grass. And you, Carver, what you have to say about this? Hello, Lord Carver. <laughs> We're still a long way from cowing Templars with our titles, sister. <sighs> Lord Carver, your attitude stinks. We took a big step with this. You should respect that. Right, right, the glorious Amels. A noble lineage dating to the Third Blight. You know what that means. 700 years of people sitting around saying, Wow, 
Look how great we used to be. Mother didn't even want that life back until we got dumped here. And you only care because we're under Templar scrutiny. You're being an ass, yes, but you know... <laughs> he talks like I am the one holding his him back. I am the one to blame for everything and he is making me angry. And if he was really my brother, I would try to say the something back, you know? The second child act is getting pretty stale, brother. It Try is. it from this side. Always hmm. running after you, or taking care of mother while you mark your territory. That's I'll enough, shut up. Father. Even back home, what could I be? The lone blade in a house of mages. You if can I be excelled, yourself. If I excelled, it brought too much attention. That was a waste, eh? Could have found my fortune if Bethany was going to die on your watch anyway. I'm... I'm really angry right now. Don't say another word, okay? You will not use her against me like that. She deserves better. Then you should have given better. I, I gave all everything. I Question me, mother, yourself, but not that. Well, you need to find your own way, good okay? Talk. Sister. I feel... I don't know. It's like Mother taking everything out on us. She was just scared. I don't have a place in the life she is trying to bring back. Then I'm here find if you need way. me. But I must find my own way. Yes, stop blaming me or others for your misfortune. Just find your own way, okay? You need to grow up. I'm with you, sister. For now. Okay. Wow, that was some talk. You know, I'm going to go after the quest, this family history thing. I think it's important since we did all this conversation right now, Carver. You're coming with me and we are going to solve this issue somehow. I don't know. Who should I take? With me. You know, this can be some interesting conversation banter between Fenris and Anders. I think let's take down. And where is the quest that I need to do for family history? Okay, let's go. I've heard about the Circle of Magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for you to be here? Definitely not. <laughs> I'll blend in. Oh, I'm sure nobody will notice little old me, don't you worry. Yes, yeah, sure. Very reassuring. Mm -hmm. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. How is it the circle you How know? is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars mm -hmm. kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. So how did it change? You and said why? the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why mm -hmm. did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinter. Magisters yes. came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. And then they were I defeated? thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the mm -hmm. contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered the South, but not the North. The Magisters mm -hmm. eventually surrendered to the Chantry, but they did so on their terms. They kept their influence. 
Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. But they didn't conquer the south again, right? That's something. So are the Magisters so terrible? Tell me about them. You talk them. about the Magisters as if they are all evil. I have mm -hmm. no doubt that some are good and noble men, strong enough to resist temptation. But how many temptations do you wish to offer a man before he will give in? Blood magic is everywhere in Tevinter. From the lowliest apprentice up to the Archon himself. And how do you, you know that? You can't have seen this for yourself. <laughs> Daenerys talked about it often. Of course, they say it's forbidden. Behind the smiles and closed doors, however, it's a different matter. To be a Magister mm -hmm. in Tevinter is to be glorious. To be a powerful Magister in Tevinter, that is worth any price. Okay, so... How is it inevitable then? Like, blood magic you mean? You're I saying think? the same thing could happen here? If the mages hmm, okay, were permitted that's... to be their own watchers, of course. It is too I easy for so. a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. As easy as it is to resort to a sword. Exactly. You were created as a living weapon. Should you not be trusted with your freedom? My powers are not controlled by a demon. A mage can Ours desire power, too. justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do. And then they are lost. I think the same is tr also true for you. If I want to use my powers for bad, I do. If I want to use my powers for good, I do. And that's the same for you, Sword. So no, you can't blame us like that. You can't just brand us all bad, blood mages, evil. No. Not, el not all mages do that. every mage is corrupt. All mm -hmm. I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. She ended the tyranny of magic and replaced it with an entirely new one. Chantry. Considering all that magic has done to my homeland and my race, I weep for your predicament. Power corrupts, as they say, and mages have power enough already. <laughs> so, why did you it change You said used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different. Magisters um, okay. came from Same wealthy families. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. Okay, I already asked that, so... You know, I talked about this in the first game too, that I think that Circle is not necessary, but it, some kind of school, I think. Like Hogwarts, I said in my previous playthrough, is necessary for mages to learn the bad and good about magic, to learn to use their powers for good. And it's true that Circle doesn't work. Also, yes, it's also wrong to oppress mages. Maybe they can build Circle into a school kind of thing. And they should stop oppressing them because oppressing them only causes them to rebel against Circle and that's not going to end well. <sighs> no, I'm going to go for the medium option. The Circle is not working According to everything sure. I've seen, the Circle can't control mm -hmm. mages anyhow. And what is the alternative? Freedom is I a don't... noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger, but enough. For mages, yes. I'm sure we came here for a reason. Okay. So this is the person that I need to talk to. Let's go. Hi. More mages. You talk. I'm going to ask the guards about their training. I know your face. <laughs> I am Tobias. You and that man are both hawks. I remember really? your father. Malcolm was a good man. Is it that obvious from our faces? 
Yes, you have a very My good memory. My father must have left quite an impression. The letter mm -hmm. I found was ancient. I needn't tell his own child how special he was. As to the letter, it pained me to send news of the Templar's death. The Templar? He allowed your father to leave Kirkwall. Rule is not served by caging the best of us. A wise man. Okay. That's surprising. A Templar left my father to leave. Not the what I would expect from a Templar. Mm -hmm. There was a time when the rules of the Order could be interpreted to suit a situation. Unlike these days. I will send the letters I held. It seems fitting that they return to family. Okay. I need to look into those. Such a friendship. Few like your father remain. Even fewer like the Templar. Rest well at the Maker's side, Sir Morivar Carver. Carver. <laughs> okay. Let me check that up. Carver will be most surprised to learn all his namesakes. Speak with him about this. Father's letters. So I can't read them actually. Did I hear Let's go. Correctly? Oh. You are an abomination. Shh. Why don't you shout? I don't think I'm in gallows. You. Do you see yourself as harmless then? An abomination who would never harm anyone. Like ripping someone's heart out of his chest. I did that at the behest of no demon. So we agree yeah. that it doesn't take a demon for someone to be a vicious killer. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah, I agree with Anders here, family. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, they're so. <laughs> Let's go. So, someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not before he gave it a shake to see if there were coins inside. I I'm really? Worried they would fall out. <laughs> Damn it, Gamlin. <laughs> okay, I need to talk to Carver first. Hello, Here. little bro. I got you something. Still angry? Why? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Don't get suspicious, okay? I'm not okay? holding you back with generosity. Just have a look. Yes, just look. These are by father. Are you sure they aren't meant for you? I bet another mm. mage could get more out of them. Damn it. I'm going to kick him in the head. For your service <laughs> that cannot be admitted, I ask that you accept this trinket and know that I shall respect your name. Thank you, Conscience of the Order, Sir Morivar Carver. Carver? The Templar who yeah. allowed Father to leave Kirkwall. Your namesake. A Templar? Have we met a Templar who isn't a colossal prig? Not yet, but, you know, maybe this one was not. <laughs> that is sweet here. Okay, uh... This is not an angry option, right? The, this, uh... This sign is not, like, yelling at him. So I think I can use it. You're just going to stop whining and think about this, okay, Carver? You're really going to look for a dark side to this. I should just mm. embrace a stranger. How's that better than blindly honoring the Amels? Maybe you should stop whining about Mother's name and try living up to yours. Yes. You're right. This is... it's something. I get it. Yes. I don't know where to take it, but thank you. Think about it. You can see another side to this all. And 
Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect it to get more friendship out of him, but uh, since you guys told me that being a rival or friend, both are good things, kind of good things in this game. So it doesn't mean that he is my enemy like it was in Origins. It's just the way we are, the way our relationship is, I think. I'm with you, what? sister. For now. Okay. Nice hound, we? sister. Hey. More agreeable than most of your company. A few hundred <laughs> of you, and we'd have taken Lothering. Or had a good shot. That's a good dog. It is. Can I talk to him again? What happened? What's with that whining? Is it Gamlin? Is it? I can just kick him in the head like I tried to do to Carver, you know? Okay. I don't know what to do now. Let me check. Long way home, deep broads expedition, enemies among us. Let's, you know, I can talk to Anders he probably is not going to try to give me another quest I'm going to talk to Anders and in the next episode I am going to get to what Isabella and Evelyn want from me that's what I'm going to do okay let's go directly to talk to Anders let's take Varric I missed him Dark Town here Let's go. A banter first. What? Just wondering if the feathered pauldrons are an essential part of the moody rebel mage persona. What are you Maybe. talking about? <laughs> I'm working on an epic poem about a hopelessly romantic apostate <laughs> waging an epic struggle against forces he can't possibly defeat. What do you mean, can't possibly defeat? <laughs> well, it's not a good story unless the hero dies. <laughs> Taking Varric with you is always a good idea. That's what I get from this. <laughs> I really like my companions in this game. I like them a lot. Even Fenris right now. <laughs> This is the only place but, in Kirkwall I feel safe. Okay. Uh, even though we do not see eye to eye with Fenris, I believe he might be a reasonable sort. He, we just need to get to know each other better, I think. Let's talk to Anders. I had a friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit <laughs> weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. No, no, I didn't felt like that. It happens a lot. Don't do it again. And why the breaking, heartbreaking auction? <laughs> why these choices seem so? Okay, Anders, it's okay. I I can listen whenever you, you want to talk. You can tell me anything. Anything? Mm. Be careful what you offer. I just, You're flirting with me. I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. Hmm. What is this? At least he got a nice body. <laughs> this is so lame. <laughs> No, I don't think you did the right thing, Anders, first of all. But everyone can make mistakes. You should have known better, this seems so harsh. I don't know. Ah, uh, I don't like these options. Not one, ev not even one. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, 
Okay, you did the right thing in your way, I guess. By trying to help a friend. We can't always predict the outcome of our actions. We can yes. only make them with a true heart. Kind, wise, and beautiful. Wow, you must okay. have made a deal with some demons yourself. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't presume. I just... We've hardly met and I feel like I know you. Am I making you uncomfortable? Nee, I don't see the harm in any little bit flirting. Yes, no. Unexpected. And it's also not unexpected because Anders was always flirty. But my Hulk doesn't know that. So maybe it is a little bit unexpected for her. Doesn't mean I want you to stop. I'll keep wow. that in mind. I warn you though, I'm not a safe man to get involved with. I'll hurt you. Fuck you then. <laughs> what is this? We just started flirting. Why would you hurt me? Hmm? No, why would you hurt me? You saw what I did in the Chantry. That's who I am. A year ago, maybe we could have had something. But I'm not that man anymore. I'll break your heart. And that might kill me as surely as the Templars. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it when someone starts flirting by I'm going to hurt you thing. Or even ending it. I appreciate your help and support. Hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> I need to do some thinking about this. And yes, it's end of the episode again. Let's meet again, shall we? Stay safe. Bye bye. <laughs>